Hey guys, welcome to a new video with BSD Box. I'm Andre, and before the, week, the weekend, I wanted to give you another Photoshop challenge. And I will give you the image of this girl, and I wanted to see what you can create with this. I made this abstract manipulation with this girl looking away and here into the distance, and I have this all these balloons here. They're not really realistic, but anyways, I'm gonna change them. Uh, I will make a tutorial about this, but it's gonna be a premium tutorial because I haven't published um, a premium tutorial in a while and I think this is, this could be a nice tutorial. But anyways, the cheapest subscription is just $8 and you have all the like 70 tutorials. And this weekend, maybe today or tomorrow, I'm gonna send a newsletter with a discount code. And if you wanna get that, you just uh, have to subscribe on psdbox.com. But anyways, um, let me show you how I removed the background from the hair here because I'm gonna give you the PSD file with the girl and you get you're gonna get something like let me show you like like this. So this is what you're gonna get on the PSD file. And the only thing you have to do is put your own background and or do whatever you want. Uh, that's why it's a Photoshop challenge. You can add your own stuff. I'm not gonna give you the background because I wanna see what you can create um from scratch let's say but i want to explain how i removed the hair it's a technique that i used in previous tutorials that i made and it's really simple because the hair is on white background using the multiply blend mode you can get rid of the background and you don't have to make any complex uh, complex masking or stuff like that so what i did is i created a copy of the woman and like that i left the original image like it was like this and I desaturated the image. Then on the first one, what I did is I removed the background really easily with the quick selection tool. And around the hair, you can see I removed the hair as well because I wanted to have the hair from the, from the copy, which I set on multiply. So if you leave it on normal, this is what it looks like without the layer mask. And this is how it looks when you it on multiply so you can see it becomes uh, semi-transparent you, you will not see it now because there's no background but this is how it looks like okay so I removed the rest of the image because I didn't uh, I don't need it I don't need the C and everything I just need the hair here so you will get this and all it the only thing you have to do is place your own background actually I'm gonna open another image and you will see that it works on any background. You'll have to make some touch-ups here on the hair, but um, let's say we open this image of this valley. You can get images like this from unsplash.com. They're free and you can use them for commercial projects as well. And you don't even have to credit them, but it's recommended. So see that? It works on any background. If you have to make any touch-ups, you can work on the top layer because there will be some of the original background visible. But if you have the sky there on the foreground, uh, on the background, sorry, um, you will, you shouldn't uh, see anything here. You can see uh, if I move this up a bit. Let me show you. You will see some of the things around there. Simply go to to the first image, to the first layer, and with black you can. Just remove that and just leave the hair uh, from the underneath layer like that okay but uh, if you have the bright sky uh, that will not be visible on those uh, remainings of the background okay so uh, you can use any image you want and I would really like to see what you can create uh, here with this image it's really easy to create something cool because I don't know I think it's a, an inspiring um, stock image so well that's um that's what i wanted to show you let me show you the original what i created as i said i will create a premium tutorial if you want to take advantage of the discount code that i will send you can go ahead and and uh, subscribe to my newsletter you'll find a subscription form on the right sidebar on the website but well that's all for today i will create a free tutorial um after well not next week because i'll i will be out but um on the following uh, following week or maybe if i can uh, before i before this weekend but i don't know if i have i will have time but until then um i hope you will enjoy this and there are no deadlines or anything like that it's just ideas that i give you and i want to see what you can create or just challenge you to make something different 
So well, that's all for today and we'll see you next time.